Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Bieber, proceed with caution. What is up my fellow beasts? Welcome back to another juicy Call of Duty video. It is your boy the Spartan Beast bringing you another juicy Call of Duty Vanguard video. Now, the question of the day, the one million dollar question my lads is, are you enjoying Call of Duty Vanguard? From... From 1 to 10, how much are you enjoying this game? Also, what is right now your favorite weapon? Let me guess. It's one of four. STG, MP40, Thompson or Combat Shotgun. My favorite weapon, ladies and gentlemen, I unlocked it at level 42. Which weapon is unlocked at level 42? Can you guess? I'm going to give you three seconds. One, two... Three, it is the Riot Shield. So it took me 42 levels to unlock the Riot Shield. As a Spartan Beast, I had to use the Riot Shield. I'm going to go for that Super Saiyan gold camo, that Goku camo. Um, and, uh, I'm, you know, I'm working on it, right? So it took me 42 levels to uh, get that bad boy. It was pain, man. And, uh, you know, I got the Riot Shield late night. I had like, I had to go to sleep. But I was like, okay, let me let me play one or two games with, with the Riot Shield, okay? So let, let me just try try it out and uh, it went very quickly from my favorite weapon in the game to my most non-favorite weapon in the game because sledgehammer completely destroyed the riot shield it is broken and it's broken in a bad way it's not broken as in overpower in an overpowered way no it's trash it's literally trash and it, and it just belongs in the garbage it is so bad and what's funny here is that we're talking about we are talking about the same team the same company that made Call of Duty World War 2 and in Call of Duty World War 2 we had a biblical riot shield ladies and gentlemen probably the best riot shield of all time it's not the best it's right there together with the one from Call of Duty Ghost it, it might be better it might be better now that I think about it because it's a division it has a lot of a lot of um, a lot of uh, what is it called qualities I don't know a lot of a lot of features whatever you want to call it so in Call of Duty World War 2 not only does the riot shield protect you very well but you also have Let's call it an attachment, which is the riot shield charge. So why can, you know, normal guns have extended mags and silencers and whatever? Why can't the riot shield have an attachment, right? Let's call the riot, the, the riot shield charge an attachment. So that was amazing. I got a lot, so many kills with that thing in Call of Duty World War II. And it also rewarded you for playing the objective. So it's the total opposite right here. Back in World War II, they rewarded people for playing the objective even more if you use the cavalry division with the riot shield. And now they give you nothing. They don't reward you for playing the objective. And in World War II, by using a riot shield, you could also get extra score when you captured flags. So by capturing a flag, you already you would get 200 points. But then with that extra score from the cavalry division, you would get even more juicy points. It was amazing, man. It was paratrooper city all day. It was super easy to get kill streaks in that game. I love World War II. So we went from that to this abomination of a riot shield in Call of Duty Vanguard. How could they go from 8 to 80? From so good to so bad. It just it doesn't make any sense. I think it's because they're they're copy pasting Call of Duty Modern Dorfare. Uh so let's talk about why this riot shield is super trash. I mean look man, it's unplayable. There's a lot of things I hate about this riot shield. First thing you immediately notice, and if you're not a riot shielder, this doesn't bother you. But I've been riot shielding ever since Modern Warfare 2, so it tickles me, right? It it, it makes me it makes me like, okay, this is not right. So the character uh, doesn't hold the right shield it's steady. It's not, it's tilting to the side, tilting to the right side. They're right there, hinders your, your vision a little bit. Uh, and it, it just bothers me to see the right shield being held in that, um, being held in that position. Another thing that bothers me and it really shows that they didn't care about the riot shield. They just put it in the game. They copy pasted it from Cold Reward 2, but then made it worse on purpose. Another thing that bothers me is that when you get a kill and you look at the kill feed, you don't have a riot shield emblem. Every single weapon in the game has its own emblem on the kill feed, besides the riot shield that just has a punch, not a punch, a, a fist. From a punch that's that belongs to uh, the freaking melee weapons or whatever even the knife 
has an has a, an emblem on a kill feed. The riot shield has a freaking fist. That's an absolute joke. I demand the riot shield have an emblem on the kill feed. Um, another thing that uh, is really bad is that because people move so fast in this game, it's really hard to get a kill. It's really insane how fast they move. Sometimes they're so close to me in any of the Call of Duty. It would, it, would, it would be a kill, but in this game it's like they're covered with butter or maybe the riot shield is covered with butter and they just they just move and I'm, I'm bashing the air, I'm meleeing the air and then they're behind me uh, laughing, killing me like I'm a freaking noob. So yeah, that, that's really annoying. Uh, another thing ladies and gentlemen is that when you're throwing knives, I mean, oh for, forget about it, it's really bad because this game doesn't give you something to use equipment super fast. Um, so it takes like three seconds to throw a knife and to pull your shield, like put your shield out of, out of the way, then put it back uh, in front of you. It's just, it takes so long that there's, there's just no chance. You die in one second, but it takes three seconds to throw a damn knife. I don't know how that's fair. Um, and also, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my god, this is the best part. This is the best part, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna love it. When you are using the riot shield, when you crouch to cover yourself while capturing a flag, for example, your head is sticking out. I am not joking. It is free heads, headshot city for the enemy team because your head is literally sticking out. I don't know how that makes any sense. I don't know how that is supposed to make the riot shield better. Uh, but uh, what I do know is that, uh, oh my god, it is terrible. So what you have to do to counter that is you have to look up. Now, if you're looking up, your feet are, sticking, are now sticking out of cover. Um, I don't know how that makes sense, but yeah, if you look up, it covers your head. I don't know if your feet are sticking out, to be honest. But uh, it's, you know, when you look up, then you can't, you can't really see very well. You can't really throw knives because you're, I mean, even if you did, I mean, you would die so fast, you wouldn't have a chance to uh, throw the knife out. But uh, the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is that this riot shield is a some piece of garbage okay they really need to buff this bad boy because it's really bad right now unfortunately the riot shield community is very small uh and no one really cares about the riot shields uh it's not that the riot shields are overpowered i don't know why people have a problem with the riot shields yes it takes longer to kill a riot shielder and you might die to another enemy in the process but riot shields are cool yeah riot shields are cool uh they're not overpowered you're not gonna get 100 kills with the riot shield you're not gonna get the biggest kill streaks with a riot shield you're not gonna camp for kills with a riot shield you use the riot shields because you want to have some fun you want to spank you want to slap some little jimmies in the face ladies and gentlemen and um, in the process if you want to you can also play the objective because that thing provides you cover and you can have a, a teammate behind you uh, using you as some portable cover and uh, you know what it's it's all good fun all good fun with the riot shield unfortunately this one is no bueno this one is broken uh, it's it's really bad so what i've been doing is i've been playing hardcore because as i said i want to get that super saiyan camo for this bad boy even if i don't ever touch it again i you know what and that's something i do i like getting the gold camo for the riot shield in every game and uh, that's what i want to do i've been doing things i'm not proud of on um on a hardcore because on core forget about it you're not gonna get any kills on core i've tried it on das house and whatever it is impossible yeah you can get a couple of kills here and there but you will die like a hundred times so it's really bad i've been playing hardcore playing like a bia can't say the word uh camping in corners waiting for people to pass by i mean it's really really disgusting but hey man don't hate the player hate the freaking game the game made me do it so yeah I, if, eventually if you want to get the uh, if you if you want to get the atomic camo eventually you're gonna have to use the riot shield and you will understand my pain uh my lads so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did spank the like button i will see you guys next time peace out